Oh, hey, Steve. Hi, James. Let me just uh, get you mic'd up here. Oh, thanks, James. Hey, how was your uh, long holiday weekend? Yeah, you know, seemed kind of short to me. Oh, all right. Yeah. I understand. Right and, uh, why don't you just have yourself a seat? Oh, all right, great. Yeah! <laughs> Steve, are you okay? <laughs> I missed my hand on the first one. <laughs> Oh, we got it. Oh, Steve, I smashed your head on that so oh, hard. Bleeding from, uh, from something. Are you? Uh, <laughs> sorry. John, you alright? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the show, folks. Today, we are going to be talking about real estate property management in all of the conflict that can occur, right? Because there's a lot of conflict in the real estate business, especially when you're talking about tenants, landlords, property management, evictions, right? Hot button issues, right? Housing is just... There's so many people that are so passionate about housing on both sides of the spectrum, right? And admittedly, right, myself coming uh, from the viewpoint of property owners, landlords, property managers, things of that nature, right? I am on, uh, you know, I'm pretty far on my side, right? I'm pretty well dug in. And, you know, I say some things that get people a little hot under the collar, right? I'm the first to admit that, right? I'm out there saying things like this. How about get a fucking job, Troy? Why don't you get a fucking job, you fucking pussy? I know this one felon, and now he's a good person. Well, good for you, Carol. Who gives a fuck? If you want to save the fucking dolphins, save the fucking dolphins. But that's not what landlords are doing and all they see when they see you is a piece of shit who won't get a job a piece of shit who won't pay for the roof over his wife and kids head who'd prefer to sit at home masturbate and do magic mushrooms so when you take a topic like this that's already highly contested constantly right People on the left, people on the right, they're going to war, right? And then you get somebody like me who's like a lightning rod and just likes to throw a hand grenade uh, into these topics. And I'm so passionate about my viewpoint and I'm passionate about the rights of property owners, landlords, people like you, people like the fans of Holton Wise TV. I get a lot of hate, right? Holton Wise TV gets a lot of hate, right? We have a ton of love, right? But we are very polarizing, Okay. Uh, we're running something like, I don't know, 65,000, uh, fans of the show, right? And, you know, we're in the millions of the views, right? I don't know, we're somewhere around like 12, 13, 14, 15 million views, uh, on Holton Weiss TV at this point. And it's just a very polarizing topic. We put a lot of polarizing content, right? So thank you to all. Uh, the property managers, the landlords, the private property owners uh, that are sick of having their rights trampled on and vilified, being vilified all the time. Thank you, guys, and thank you for your support. And I read the comments, right? Lots of great comments, and I, I do appreciate that. Thank you, right? But today, I won't talk about them trolls, man, because the trolls, they come out the woodwork a little bit, right? And the things that we do here at Holton Wise, it offends them, and some of it is kind of offensive, right? not going to run away from that, right? So you get people like this cat. Stop making YouTube videos, selling merchandise that glorifies renters, kicked out of their homes. This company is a joke, right? He's heated, man. He's hot. He's a little upset, right? The rudest landlords anyone could ask for. Expect to be evicted if you ever miss a payment. Well, that's, that's really good advice, Anthony. That is true. If you miss a payment, we will 100% of the time evict your ass. Absolutely, right? And you know what we're going to do after we uh, evict your ass? He will videotape you getting evicted and post it on social media. Yeah, damn right I will. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at some people we evicted right now. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> They seem to think that if they throw away the key when it's eviction day, we won't be able to get in. But uh, as you can see from John bringing a gigantic saw into this property, that's not the case. It don't matter what you do to that door. When it comes time for eviction day, Holton Wise is going to get into that house. It's 
controversial stuff, man. Pe some people get mad at that, right? Some people look at that and go, yeah, good. Give them people their comeuppance. They're stealing from the landlord. They deserve it. Absolutely, they deserve it. That's how I feel. That's how probably 50% of you watch and feel. But the other 50%, some of y'all don't feel that way. You think just pure evil, complete lack of morals. See, I think that's weird. Who's got the lack of morals? Me? Or the person stealing from people like me. I think the person stealing is the one with lack of morals. Like, y'all ever watch the show Cops? When I watch Cops, I'm happy to see the criminals get what they deserve. I consider the live eviction footage here on Holton Wise TV to be similar to that of Cops. But some of you don't believe in that. You believe the act of being a landlord is absolutely wrong, right? From a... Like a high-level perspective, you just think the entire business, not so much me, not so much Holton Wise, you think the whole business is bad, right? Landlords make a living by doing no work and leeching off their tenants' real work for their incomes. They are the ones living in a sunshine and rainbows world. This guy Jake, he said Mao was right. For those of you who do not know who Mao is or what that reference means, like Mao Zedong or something like that, right? Uh, he was uh, the Chinese leader uh, who took over the country, changed all the politics, and uh, they executed uh, hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of landlords in China. They cut their heads off with guillotines, right? And they stole all of their property, right? So you got cats like Jake who are like, yeah, landlords, let's cut their fucking heads off, right? Yeah, you got people like this guy under him, uh, Fredford Berger. Kill your local property owner. These people are part of the elite who should be murdered. You want to redistribute? Kill a property owner. These people are millionaires who threaten their tenants whenever a crisis happens so they can hike rent and become even richer. Kill these people. It's weird, man. I don't see y'all flipping out on the local grocery stores, right? Everybody knows you go to the grocery store, you got to pay for milk. You can't just steal the milk. And then when somebody tries to stop you from stealing the milk, go, selling milk is wrong. Milk is food. Food is a basic human right. I need food. You can't just not provide me food for free. You're evil. I hate the grocery store because they're selling milk. I need milk to live. Right? Nobody does that. But when you steal from your landlord, People like to say things like, landlords are evil. We should kill landlords. Why ain't nobody trying to kill the grocery store owner? That's what I want to know. That's why I'm so passionate about the things that I say. Because I believe half the country, half the world is batshit fucking crazy with thoughts like that. I don't see nobody out there screaming about how freaking evil and horrible people that sell groceries are. But they do it to landlords. Makes no goddamn sense to me. But hey, some of y'all fucking weirdos. You think differently, a la these comments and a lot of the, the heat, right? And that heat, and since I'm so passionate about uh, what I believe is right and what a lot of landlords and property owners and fiscal conservatives believe is right, right? A lot of that heat comes to me, and that's okay. I signed up for this. I'm, I'm here. I'm a lightning rod for landlords, property managers, private property owners. And because of that, some of y'all even take it into a personal personal attack at me you guys you guys come at me with personal attacks jesus does this dude even break five feet yes i do yes i do a n word shut up you're like four three and then of course my personal favorite people call me slumlord cartman i respect my third time <laughs> that's just good stuff man another one neckbeard cartman with his stupid merch Another, you, you midget Cartman bum ass bitch. Y'all, y'all be working the midget Cartman. That's because, uh, that cat when we were on Netflix, we were on Netflix, uh, dude from The Daily Show, uh, Hassan Minaj. He, 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 uh, he said, I'm a neckbeard Cartman slumlord, and people rolled with it, right? First of all, all right, you got me on the short thing. You got me on the fat thing, guys, but neckbeard, look at this thing, dude. This is a, this is a good mane right here, man. This is a, this is a beautiful, glorious beard, right? I've done some work on this thing, right? This ain't no neck beard, folks. I've seen neck beards. This is not a neck beard. Look at, look at the density up here. Look at this goatee, man. Jeez. Uh, so I think the neck beard comments are a little out of pocket, but I'll give it to you guys on the Cartman stuff, okay? 
Uh, why are you alive, brah? Another guy just throwing some, just, you know, casual bigotry. Your mom's gay. Stuff like that, right? Why is this a tiny dick homosexual? What the? F Guys, what's going on here? Uh, the people that are getting upset with some of the things we do, you guys are typically, like, extremely on the left, seem to be attacking the LGBTQ community, guys. That seems a little out of pocket. I mean, come on. And then this chick, Laddie Miss. <laughs> you are ugly, not ugly as fuck. You are ugly ass fuck. Your mouth <laughs> looks like it's steak. Ah, oh, that's great. I'm sure she got great grades in English. Uh, fuck you, bitch, LOL, and your whack-ass beard, dude. Those are out of pocket. This is a great beard, man. A lot of some of the stuff y'all guys coming at me with. Again, I, it's fair game. I signed up for that, but folks, look at this thing. It's a good mane. Uh, this guy. Oh, you are now fucking famous, right? LOL. Butthead bearded eviction lover from Duck Dynasty. Now, see, that's an appropriate beard comment. Thank you, Al Mamin Khan Snahow. I'm sorry I butchered your name. No offense. I apologize. Uh, but thank you. That's good. I can respect that. But anyway, all right. So we have a controversial topic. And Holton Wise, right, we come at it with a, a no apologies mindset, right? Uh, we're not going to hide what we do, right? Because, again, as I've said, right, I believe that if you don't pay your rent, you're stealing, right? People ask me, they're like, how do you sleep at night doing what you do? i never stolen a dollar from another person in my life. I sleep like a motherfucking baby, folks. I do not feel any guilt when I evict people because I don't evict people, right? All those videos of my team evicting people, again, if you forgot, let's take a look at a couple more. And if you take a look at this wall, you can see that they never cleaned where their stove used to be. I see we got John Holton. Uh, he <laughs> looks like he's got a huge saw. A lot of times these tenants, they'll change the locks, they'll barricade the doors so the eviction crew can't get in. Okay, we're gonna give it to you. And the butcher knife. <laughs> and uh, took a lot of bugs out hoping they, cause it'd be dark in the up. Oh, got him. No, I have 11 kids. Yeah. Why aren't they all here? I mean, it was good enough when you all lay in your head. Beautiful. Beautiful. You see all those? I didn't do anything wrong there. I didn't do that. Those are people who chose to steal from hardworking Americans like you, hardworking Americans like me. All this nonsense that landlords are just these rich pricks who just inherited this land. <laughs> That's not true, folks. Get your facts straight. Something like 90% of the landlords in this country are hard-working Americans who worked hard, who did the right thing, who chose to save their money instead of waste it at the bar or waste it on Slim Jims or freaking overpriced this or that, right? They saved their money, did the right thing, invested their money diligently, prudently to try to create a better financial life for them, their children, their family, etc., etc. And then you got a bunch of scumbags out there, a bunch of scumbags, people like my guy Troy, fuck you Troy, who aren't willing to do the work. People like Troy just want to sit around and jerky jerk, right? They don't want to actually work hard and they blame those people. So, the way Holton Wise comes at things, we make no apologies for our stances. I sleep like a baby, folks. I don't find anything wrong with what we do at Holton Wise. But, uh, yeah, I do read these comments, folks. I read them. Thousands and thousands of comments, right? Again, we got a lot of fans of the show, a lot of people who agree with a lot of the stances we take. Thank you so much. But all these other folks, right, they're, they're upset, right? And I'm starting to think maybe, maybe we are a little too heated, right? You got this guy, Ivan. Don't know about you guys, but I just came here to say, fuck you, Holton Wise TV, dislike. And then this guy, Azarat. Wow, James, you are such a dickhead, right? So I got to thinking. After reading thousands of comments like that, right? People call me an asshole, people call me a dickhead. 
Maybe there is another way. Maybe Holton Wise shouldn't go full force, balls to the wall, uh, landlord rights all the time. Maybe, maybe Holton Wise should peel the layers back, right? Peel the curtain back into the business of Holton Wise, into the psyche of Holton Wise, into my psyche, how I feel about a business owner, a leader of men and women, a leader of people, right, uh, to help make this whole thing, you know, move like a well-oiled machine. Maybe I shouldn't always be so confrontational, controversial. Maybe I should show you guys some of the more heartwhelming things that Holton Wise does, some of the, uh, you know, Warm and fuzzy stuff that we do around the office. Because honestly, this business, folks, at the end of the day, it's it's just a family business, okay? And, uh, you know, home wise we care, right? We do care. We do care quite a bit. So with all that, uh, we created a new campaign that I wanted to share with you all today. It's called Holton Wise Cares. Let's take a look. At Holton Wise, we help people achieve financial freedom through passive real estate investments. We provide a complete set of turnkey real estate services, including property acquisition, property management, home renovation and much more. But most importantly, at Holton Wise, it's all about our people first culture. We put people over profits. Simply put, at Holton Wise, we care. I like working at Holton Wise because it's really for the people and the culture. When I'm here, I feel like I can work as myself. I run Holton Wise like an open book. If anybody has any questions about what we do or how we do it, we got nothing to hide here at Holton Wise. We do what we say we're going to do and then we do it. This place is really for the community. We buy houses, we sell houses, we rent houses, we do it all. My leadership style at Holton Wise, it's all about leading by example. I want to show people that even in a stressful business like real estate investment, we always need to keep our cool and act professional. I love working with James and in my position, I get to work with James one-on-one -on -one every single day. James is a people pleaser, he's a people person, he's a real philanthropist. They don't tear you down at Holton Wise. It's all about building people up. What the f are you two lazy pieces of f doing in here, huh? Always, always, always just sitting on your f never doing any work. Do you want me to place you girls with f robots? Is that what you like? You want me to f place you with robots, John? Huh? You want me to place with a robot? Even in my position, it can be very stressful dealing with tenants. That's why James always makes sure that my head is in a great place. When making mistakes at Holton Wise, they don't get angry, they don't get mad, they don't yell at you. They just give you a gentle nudge in the right direction. It's the professionalism. You know, nothing too crazy happens at the office. Everything's pretty low key. From the moment I started working with Holton Wise, it was clear to me that I wasn't just another customer. I was like family. I think good leaders ask, how can we increase the bottom line? How can we increase profitability? But here, I want to be a great leader. And what great leaders ask is, how can I serve my employees, my customers, my people, the community? Man, that's some heartwarming stuff right there, folks. So you see, we don't all have to fight. As you can see, Holton Wise, we might be turning a corner. Instead of dealing with all this conflict back and forth, Holton Wise, we're sticking out our arms. We're sticking out an olive branch. We're trying to come closer together, right, and show you all that we are really about community, about people, right? At Holton Wise, we're not just greedy landlords. We're not just here trying to make money. It's not business first. No, sometimes it's all about family, right? And that's what Holton Wise Cares was all about. I'm glad 
that all of you got to see a nice look under the hood of what things are really like behind the scenes at Holton Wise. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.